so welcome back to my youtube channel i thank you so much for subscribing and for the new ones please hit the red button subscribe button down there and join our family uh, today's video we're going to make a pickle it is the simplest ever the simplest meal ever so we're just gonna use the ingredients that you always have in your house and just come up with something good let's get started okay on my stove i have the olive oil i usually use this one to cook and i have ginger spice and i have paprika i have pure masala and i have cumin i have of course you don't go wrong with the maggies i have two of them i have tomato paste and i have garlic paste and i have onion this is a whole big onion i usually use pretty much onion and i have some goat meat right there okay my goat meat have some bones as you can see but hey it's okay you can do with whichever meat type you have as long as the food is ready uh people still eat it so let's get started so my first thing to do is i'll put my oil don't put as don't put too much just enough and then i'll add my onions cook this one for until until they turn golden brown so i'll cook them until they turn golden brown that's when i'm gonna add my garlic let's see uh, make sure you cook your onions all the way until they start turning golden brown so we're still gonna keep cooking them and the heat is on high since I'm just cooking the onions uh, before I put it to the medium side. The rice is well washed, it's just drying because you have to wash it. Uh, before so that it can be drying as as you start cooking i am using the biggest pot because i love my food to have enough space when cooking when your onions start turning golden brown, that's when you add your garlic paste. So we're gonna add this one and then cook it for some few minutes. few minutes let's say two to three minutes because it will start burning and then we can put the next part After that, you can add your meat into your onions and start for like three, 
to five minutes. Then at this point, I'm going to add my salt. At least salt enough to taste. And I'm going to put my tomato paste. Very well, mix it also. And then when cooking, you can use the same bowl to mix all the spices that you, you want to use. And before that, you can put your maggots. When you mix all your spices, you can add them to your meat. I mixed all of my spices, the one I showed you. So you put them to your meat and you stir them very well. Depending to the size of rice that you're cooking, that's how you're going to know how much uh, measurements of the spices you're going to use. Because for me, I'm using like a half kg rice and I used one tablespoon of pearl masala, one tablespoon of ginger and half tablespoon of cumin and now the two maggots so it depends with how much rice you're cooking and then when you add your spices you just gonna let them cook for two to three minutes After your two to three minutes, add your rice. And then start. My rice was just like two cups, so I'll put four cups of water, which I have measured already, and it's in the pot boiling. And then from there, I'm just going to add my hot water, which was boiling on the other side of the stove, and this is four cups of the water, so I'll put add everything. And 
then you stir again very well just mix it and make sure everything is intact after adding your water you taste if the salt is enough just want to make sure the salt is uh, enough to taste yeah which it is and so from there I'm just gonna cover for a few minutes until it start boiling and then I'll show you guys what's next after you cover for like 15 or 10 minutes it doesn't matter just when it starts boiling you use the foil paper to cover all through that way there's no air going in or coming out let's do it so at this point i'll just put my foil paper to cover all through to make sure there's no air going in or coming out and then use the same pot to make it tight and then when it boils for five minutes i'll heat on my oven for let's say 375 And then I'll put it inside the oven and then it will cook in the oven for a couple few minutes. When the oven heats, my oven is heated already. So I'm going to put my rice inside the oven for let's say 15 to 20 minutes until it dries very well. So I'm going to put it in the oven. Right there and it will cook for 15 to 20 minutes as I wait from the rice to cook from the oven I'll be making my kachumbari because I'm gonna serve it with kachumbari so yep 15 to 20 minutes you're gonna take out your rice from the oven Oof. and then turn off the oven yeah so you're going to take it out. Uh, remember to shut off the oven because I'm sure it's ready. And then open it a little bit. Just make sure the rice is well, well, well cooked and ready to be served so you're just gonna gonna turn it on and yep the rice is ready well well cooked as you can see and it's ready to be served so that's the rice and then when you're done cooking it that's when you can add your silver troll yeah you add your silver troll as much as you can because that's the end of your cooking after that i'll serve my rice with my kachumbari which has some of the guacamole as you can see and and that's how it should be 
and the rice is ready thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel like comment and share also let me know if you have any new recipe that you would like us to try thanks so much love you bye